you look out throughout Christian history, the same ingredients have fed all these awesome revivals all in the past. And now it's our turn. You know, GYC has been crucial in um, actually creating a movement that has spread around the world. You know, the Advent movement is not dead. GYC is not a new movement of Bible prophecy. It's a part of the great Advent movement. It's a group of young people who want themselves personally to be a part of the great Advent movement and, and not wait for someone to tell them what they can do or should do, but to just ask God to give them something to do. Young people help to begin the Seventh-day Adventist Church, and they will help in a great way to end the wonderful work that the Lord has in store for his church. God used this movement to get a hold of me and change the direction of my life. If I had not gone to GYC, if I had not gone to those appeals, I wouldn't have gone to Bible college. I wouldn't have become a Bible worker. I wouldn't have been involved in ministry for like the last like seven, eight years of my life. Society constantly seeks to undo and press against what biblical holiness is. And I think future generations has the same exact challenge, mission and vision to teach young people in this context, what does it mean to be a legitimate, faithful, biblical Seventh-day Adventist today? It's hard to be like, this is what I believe, when so many other people are going, that's not what you should believe. I think because of GYC, because of knowing there are so many other people just like me, I really think that it helps you to stay solid, to stay committed, to know who you are, what you believe, and that's something that GYC provides that's so unique. There already exists an army of you in the church on a mission for the Lord to proclaim the first, second, and third angel's messages to all the world in this generation. The army exists. GYC was, make sure you're rightly trained. You look at GYC at the beginning, at the genesis of this thing, and you say, what's not to love? Hundreds, then thousands of young people getting together, they're gathering around the Bible, they're praying together, they're going out into the mission field to actually do hands-on work, and you say to yourself, where's this gonna go?